Oh, hi. I have to be quiet. Lego boyfriend is next door sleeping. The audio you're hearing is a voiceover. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, wait, first, I need to change into the world's greatest Christmas sweater. I love it so hard. Here's what you need. It's been a long week. The main thing you're gonna need is a sweater. I already cut off a sleeve for another project, but we're going with it. Plus, I'm gonna cut the other one off later. You'll also need some cardboard, white yarn, some scissors, a hot glue gun, don't burn yourself, some other very tacky decorations, a star and a safety pin specifically for what I'm doing, and then we'll see what else. My sweater is pretty loosely knit, so I'm gonna ram some cardboard inside, separate the leathers, leathers, layers. First, I'm laying some hot glue down and placing one of the ends of the green ribbon on top. Yep, great camera work, killing it. And I'm making a shape that is very vaguely tree shapey. I don't know why I'm cutting these ends. Keep in mind here, we're going for ugly Christmas sweater, not high-end fashion sweaters. Or I'm just making excuses. I don't fucking know. Glue and shit, glue and shit. Yeah, 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 glue and shit. Don't forget that middle bit. And don't forget the wispy shit. <laughs> I decided to add some rows across for some goddamn reason. Uh, and next we're adding lace to all the stripes, cause why the fuck not? I made sure to cut at an angle to keep that beautiful tree-like figure. Don't touch it with your fucking dumb hands. Use literally anything else. Oh, and now we're using the inspiration for this project. These are baubles I got from Jen from Technicolor moments. So I left a little bit of string on top and then I'm sticking the thing down. Oh, and more awesome camera work, killing it. At least I remember to not use my own fingers. Ah, and now the tree topper. This was a Ramona Flowers hair clip. I can just cram the little sticky part through the wide loose knit. Oh, and per my sister's request during a live stream while I was working on this, I decided to add some fringe which should also be sewn, but that's just not gonna happen. Ah yes, instantly forgetting that I had only one sleeve, so better angles, yep, yep, beautiful. And here's me hoping everything's in frame, which it is not. And now we're on to the beautiful animal motif sweater, but it's not that festive yet. I have the pre-mangled sweater, I have the white yarn. Ah, here's the idea happening, okay, let's use some cardboard. I made a weird rectangle shape with a smaller rectangle in it. Struggling to cut this apart for some reason. This is like the easiest part of the fucking project. Ah, there we go. Now I'm cutting a little length of yarn, like six inches or so. And then I'm putting that through the loop, through the inside rectangle and setting it aside, taking very dramatically the rest of the yarn. I'm gonna start wrapping it around just so many times, trying to keep it as even as possible. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. There's not a specific number of times I wrapped it around or like used up a certain length of yarn. Definitely dropped it. Uh, time lapse time because you can probably figure out how to wrap yarn around a thing without me showing you every loop. Getting there? No, nope, taking forever. Mm, we could probably stop. No, still going? Okay. That seems like enough, so let's clip it off at the end. Now take that first strand you loop through. You're gonna loop one end through the other side of the inner rectangle. You're gonna tie a knot as tight as humanly possible around all the loops. Cut one end of the rectangle so you can pull it out of there so you can free the loops. And then you're gonna tie that knot even tighter and do like a couple additional knots for security. And now you're gonna start cutting through all of the loops that you had around the outer rectangle. It's gonna take forever. Try to keep it even. And now we begin the fluffing process and rolling it around. I'm cutting off all the rogue fluffs to keep it spherically shaped somewhat. And now we have a pom-pom. So I cut a tiny triangle out of the sweater and uh, trying to position it here. And I'm taking the back off the safety pin somewhere at the top. And all I did was tie the pom-pom around the top like a lazy asshole. And now this look is complete. Well, feel free to peep my Patreon if you're in the giving mood and you can also subscribe and check out these other videos while you're here.